महान अथ उपेत स्विबीर अथ उपेत स्विबीर गोविंद प्रिय सारथी गोविंद प्रिय सारथी नवेदयत्तम प्रियाय नवेदयत्तम प्रियाय शोचंत्या आत्म जानता शोचंत्या आत्म जानता तत् आवृत पशुवत तथ आवृत तथा आवृत पशुवत पाश बद्धम अवाक मुखम पाश बद्ध अवाक मुखम कर्म जुगुप्सितेन कर्म जुगुप्सितेन निरीक्ष कृष्ण अपकृतम गुरो सुतम निरीक्ष कृष्ण कृष्ण अपकृतम गुरो सुतम वाम स्वभावा हा कृपया न नामच वाम स्वभावा कृपया न नामच तत् असौ बद्धतम पाप हा तत् असौ बद्धतम पाप हा आतताई आत्म बंधु हा आतताई आत्म बंधु हा भर्तु हो च विप्रियम वीर भर्तु हो च विप्रियम वीर कृतवान कुल पांसन हा कृतवान कुल पांसन हा सूता हुआ च सूता हुआ च एवं परीक्षता धर्मम एवं परीक्षता धर्मम पार्थ कृष्णे न चोदित हा पार्थ कृष्णे न च उदित हा चोदित न ऐच्छत हन्तुम गुरु सुतम न ऐच्छत हन्तुम गुरु सुतम यदि यदि अपि आत्महनम महान यदि अपि आत्महनम महान अथा उपेत्यस्व शिबिरम अथा उपेत्यस्व शिबिरम गोविंद प्रिय सारथी ही गोविंद प्रिय सारथी ही निवेदयत्तम प्रियाये निवेदयत्तम प्रियाये सोचित निरीक्ष कृष्ण अपकृत गुरो सुतम निरीक्ष कृष्ण अपकृत गुरो सुतम वाम स्वभाव कृपया न नाम च वाम स्वभाव कृपया न नाम च तत् असौ वद्यता पाप आतताई आत्म बंधु भर्तु च विप्रिय वीर कृतवाण कुल पांसन सुत उच एवं परीक्षिता धर्म पार्थ कृष्ण न चोदित न ऐच्छत अंतुम गुरु सुतम यदि अपि आत्मनम मान अथ उपेत स्वशिविरम गोविंद प्रिय सारथी नवेदयत्तम प्रियाय शोचंत्या आत्म जानता तथा आवृतम पशुवत पाशबद्ध अवाम मुख कर्म जुप्सिते न निरीक्ष कृष्ण पकृतम गुरो हो सुतम वाम स्वभावा कृपया न नाम च तद असौ अध्यताम पाप आत ताय आत्म बंधु भर्तु च विप्रियम वीर क्रोतवान कुल पांसन क्रूत उच एवं परीक्षता एवं परीक्षता धर्मम 
पार्थ कृष्णेन चोदित न इच्छत हंतुम गुरु सूतम यत अपि आत्महनम महान अथ उपेत्य स्व शिबिर गोविंद प्रिय सारथी ही न्यवेदयतम प्रियाये शोचंत आत्म जानता तथा आवृतम पशुवत पाशबद्धम अवान मुखम कर्म जुगुप्सित जुगुप्सितेन निरीक्ष कृष्ण आपकृत गुरो सूत वाम स्वभाव कृपया न नाम च श्रीधर प्रभु जी पूनम माता जी कैन यू प्लीज रीड पूनम माता जी देन कृपा मई सीता देवी माता हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी यस माता जी यस यस प्रभु यस प्रभु जी तद असो वध्यताम पाप आतताय आत्म आत्म बंधु भर्तुश्च विप्रियम वीर कृतवान कुल पांसन सुत उवाच एवं परीक्षता धर्म पार्थ कृष्ण कृष्णेन चोदिता नैच धा गुरु सुतम यद अपि आत्म आत्महनम महान अथ अथ अथोक्तय स्विबिर गोविंद प्रिय सारथी नय वेदयात तम प्रिया शोचंत आत्मजान हतान तथ हृत पशुवत पाश बद्धु अवान मुखम कर जुगुप्सितेन निरीक्षया कृष्ण कृष्ण निरीक्षया कृष्ण कृष्ण अप्रकृत गुरु सुतम वाम स्वभाव कृपया नानम चा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण पाप आत्मना बंधु प्रतुस्ता विप्रिय वीरा कृतवांकुलांसना सुत युवाच सुत परीक्षता धर्म परता कृष्ण से चोदित नचे तन्न तंतुम गुरु सुतम यदा आत्म महान गोविंद प्रिय सारदी नया वेद प्रिया सोचती आत्मजा पशुबंध आमान मुखम कर्म निरीक्ष्य कृष्ण अपृतम गुरु सुत पाम स्वाभ कृपया थैंक यू माता जी धन्य हरे कृष्ण एन यू नेल्स वुड लाइक टू रीड आई डोंट नो हू इज सैमसंग टैब और राज राजेश्वरी माता जी इफ दे वुड लाइक टू रीड हरे कृष्ण Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Jagat Guru Sri La Prabhupad Ki Jai. This man is an assassin and murderer of your own family members. Not only that, but he has also dissatisfied his master. His but the burnt remnants of his family kill him immediately. Sud Goswami said, although Krishna, who was examining Arjuna in religion. encouraged arjuna to kill the son of dronacharya arjuna a great soul did not like the idea of killing him although ashwatthama was a heinous murderer of arjuna's family members after reaching his own camp arjuna along with his dear friend and charioteer shri krishna entrusted the murderer unto his dear wife who was lamenting for her murdered sons shri sud goswami said Draupadi then saw Ashwatthama, who was bound with ropes like an animal and silent for having enacted the most inglorious murder. Due to her female nature and due to her being naturally good and well behaved, she showed him due respects as a Brahmana. Purport. The son of Dronacharya 
is condemned here as the burnt remnants of his family. The good name of Dronacharya was very much respected. Although he joined the enemy camp, the Pandavas held him always in respect. And Arjuna saluted him before beginning the fight. There was nothing wrong in that way. But the son of a Dronacharya degraded himself by committing acts which are never done by the Dvijas or the twice-born higher castes. Ashwatthama, the son of Dronacharya, committed murder by killing the five sleeping sons of Draupadi, by which he dissatisfied his master Duryodhar, who never approved of the heinous act of killing the five sleeping sons of the Pandavas. This means that Ashwatthama became an assaulter of Arjuna's own family members and thus was liable to be punished by him. In the Shastras, he who attacks without notice or kills from behind or sets fire to another's house or kidnaps one's wife is condemned to death. Krishna reminded Arjuna of these facts so that he might take notice of them and do the needful. Arjuna was a great soul undoubtedly, which is proved here. Also, he is encouraged herein personally by the Lord to kill the son of Drona. But Arjuna considers that the son of his great teacher should be spared, for he happens to be the son of Dronacharya, even though he is an unworthy son, having done all sorts of heinous acts whimsically for no one's benefit. Lord Shri Krishna encouraged Arjuna outwardly just to test Arjuna's sense of duty. It is not that Arjuna was incomplete in the sense of his duty, nor was Lord Shri Krishna unaware of Arjuna's sense of duty. But Lord Shri Krishna could to test many of his pure devotees just to magnify the sense of duty. The gopis were put to such tests as well. Prahlad Malas also was put to such a test. All pure devotees come out successful in the respective tests by the Lord. The transcendental relation of Arjun with Krishna is that of dearmost friendship. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord himself has claimed Arjuna as his dearmost friend. Every living being is thus related with the Supreme Lord by some sort of affectionate relation. Either as a servant or as a friend, or as a parent, or as an object of conjugal love. Everyone thus can enjoy the company of the Lord in the spiritual realm if he at all desires and sincerely tries for it by the process of Bhakti Yoga. Ashwatthama was condemned by the Lord himself and he was treated by Arjuna just like a culprit, not like the son of a Brahmana or a teacher. But when he was brought before Srimati Draupadi, she, although be grieved, for the murder of her sons, and although the murderer was present before her, could not withdraw the due respect generally offered to a Brahmana or to the son of a Brahmana. This is due to her mild nature as a woman. Women as a class are no better than boys, and therefore they have no discriminatory power like that of a man. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. I think the purport is incomplete here. So we will continue reading from where it is left. Hare Krishna. Prabhuji, with the book we can read Prabhuji. Yeah, yes, yes, Mataji. Book we have. Yeah. Ashwatthama proved him to be an unworthy son of Dronacharya or of a Brahmana. And for this reason, he was condemned by the greatest authority, Lord Shri Krishna. And yet a mild woman could not withdraw her natural courtesy for a Brahmana. Even to date, 
in a hindu family a woman shows proper respect to the brahmana caste however fallen or heinous a brahma bandhu may be but the men have begun to protest against brahma bandhus who are born in families of good brahmanas but by action are less than shudras the specific word used in this shloka is vama swabhava mild and gentle by nature a good man or woman accepts anything very easily but a man of average intelligence does not do so but anyway we should not give up our reason and discriminatory power just to be gentle one must have good discriminatory power to judge a thing on its merit we should not follow the mild nature of a woman and therefore accept that which is not genuine ashwatthama may be respected by a good natured woman but that does not mean that he is as good as a genuine brahmana om agyana timirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshuru urmilitam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha shri chaitanya mano bhishtam sthapitam yena bhutale svayam rupa kadamayam dadati svapadantikam vandeham shri guru shri yuta padakamlam shri guru vaishnavam cha shri rupam sagrajatam sahagana ragunathan vitam tam sajeevam sadvaitam savadutam parijana saitam krishna chaitanya devam shri radha krishna padan sahagana lalita shri vishakan vitam cha nama om vishnu padaya krishna prishthaya bhutale श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे वाछा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फॉर माई द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री श्री लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा माय सुदर्शन भगवान श्री श्री गौनिता लड्डू गोपाल नरसिंह भगवान एंड एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ ऑल द डिवोट इज आउट हियर एन आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू दिस श्लोका टूडे it was such a wonderful experience because it makes us aware how we are being tested every minute so we see here that uh, krishna is in an angry mood but we have seen that unlike the mortal beings like us his anger is different while if we get in anger our face goes down we immediately give up we stand up and we move out our eyes become angry the eyes show the anger but lord krishna's eyes they remain the same lotus eyes full of bliss and so it was said as we saw in the previous verse that his anger is also a blessing and it actually is you have seen how krishna's anger becomes a blessing for everyone be it hiranya kashipu or beat anyone else so here krishna wanted to test arjuna so what he does is he is trying to incite arjun he is telling that this ashwatthama is an assassin he is a murderer he has killed your family members not only that he has also dissatisfied his master He is no longer a brahmana. He is a burnt remnant of his family. Kill him. So, I believe when Krishna says kill him, Arjuna had already said karishetava vachanam. But Arjuna knew that he is being 
encouraged to kill the son of Dronacharya, but it could be testing of his religion. He was a great sport. So he did not like the idea of killing him. Though Ashwatthama was a heinous murderer. So what he did is, after reaching his own camp, Arjuna, he gave that murderer unto his wife, Draupadi. And we all know, Draupadi was lamenting for a murdered son. Ashwatthama was bound with ropes, just like an animal. And he was silent because he had committed the inglorious purpose. But the shloka says that due to Vama Swabhava, due to her female nature, and because she was naturally cool and wait, good and well-behaved, she showed him due respects as a Brahmana. But here we see many aspects which are practical learnings for us. We all know Dronacharya was a very respected teacher. Though he had been working for the Kauravas and he was in the opposite camp during the Kurukshetra war, all the Pandavas, including Arjuna, respected him. In fact, before starting the war, Arjuna saluted him. He gave his obeisances to him and sought his blessings. Such was the greatness and the goodness of Dronacharya. But his son, Ashwatthama, could not continue with the same thing. He degraded himself. He committed acts which ideally should never be done by Brahmanas. Or as the shloka uses the word, dvijas, the twice born higher castes. Now twice born does not mean that you get two times birth. What it means is you have a natural birth, wherein you have your father and mother as your parents. And then you get initiated after knowledge, wherein you get the Dramin Diksha. And that is considered Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, as your second birth. So Ashwatthama, he committed many mistakes. When the sons of Draupadi, they were sleeping, he killed them. And he thought that he would be able to please his master Duryodhan. But Duryodhan, who was himself on the deathbed because of the broken spine, he did not approve of this heinous act. And so, in a way, he had dissatisfied his master. So, two mistakes. And then, he had thrown the Brahmastra. Now, Krishna had reminded Arjuna, if you see in the previous lokas, that if persons who attack without notice or kill from behind, set fire to another's house, kidnap one's wife, then they are condemned to death. And Ashwatthama had become an assaulter. So, he was liable to be dead. So Krishna Arjuna, Krishna reminded Arjuna so that he can go through this part of the dharma and punish him. So it was personally encouraged. But Arjuna never thought of that. He said that he is the son of his great teacher. So he should be spared. He may be a son. He may have done heinous acts whimsically. But then, he has to be spared. So here, we are seeing how Arjuna's sense of duty is being tested. Shri Krishna always likes to test his devotees. In fact, it is said that he tests his pure devotees just to magnify the sense of duty. And there are so many examples. Even gopis, they were put to such tests as well. Prahlad Maharaj was also put to test. But in the end, all the pure devotees come out successful in respective tests by the Lord. Even now when we are on this journey, back home, back to Godhead, we are trying to be good sadhakas. We are trying to do our sadhana seriously, sincerely. We will find that we will be tested at every turn and corner in our journey. All of a sudden, we may find that we are being provoked. We may get that be, uh, da doubt that we are now a senior devotee. So we should be getting respect or whatever we say should be done. But then this thought process is an attack by Maya. We have somewhere become weak in our sadhana and Maya has got an entry 
and this is an effect of kali because being devotee means being humbler than the blade of a grass trunada pi sunichena and then being more resistant and stronger than the tree trunada pi sunichena taro api sahishnuna one who does not expect any uh, respects amani namana dehena and one who always wants to be always doing kirtana kirtaniya sada hari so that is devotee and krishna what is that only one who has reached this level should come back home back to godhead and so there are so many tests which happen even gopis when they were feeling that krishna is dancing with them alone krishna immediately vanished and the gopis they were lamenting they understood their mistake they knew that this was a test and then this song the famous gopi gave prahlad maharaj was put to so many tests to test whether he really is completely dependent on shri krishna and when in all the tests he was successful just to fulfill his words krishna came as narsya bhagwan out of the uh khamba so a pure devotee is always successful here arjuna was a dear most friend of krishna and in bhagavad gita lord krishna himself calls him as his dear most friend so what it means is that we are always in some form or the other having an affectionate relationship with krishna either as a servant as a friend as a parent or as an object of conjugal love so we just have to enjoy the company of lord krishna in spiritual lane if we sincerely try for it by the process of bhakti yoga we should not be like ashwatthama and then we learn the importance of being able to discriminate draupadi because of her female nature vam uh, swabhava the word comes she did not differentiate though ashwatthama was a killer she still respected him and gave him a courtesy which is due for a brahmana or the son of a brahmana so a good man or woman accepts anything is it but one person should not be doing it we should not give up our reason and discriminatory power just to be gentle we must have do good discriminatory power to judge a thing on its merit we should not follow the mild nature of woman and accept something which is not genuine so when we say that we have to give respect to all the devotees even if they are making mistakes to a certain level we agree but the moment the mistakes are increasing we should not accept and we should highlight that it is a mistake and that is what is the third learning for us from today's shlokas hare krishna jai 